Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking to you about three things that I find challenging, wrong with full body workouts. Okay, I know a lot of you guys and girls have been taught to train your whole body when you go to the gym, you know, treat it as one unit, right? Don't separate your shoulders and your chest from your legs. You're all one unit. Train the whole thing, rest the whole thing up, let it grow as one unit. And that part, you know, to a degree, that's true. Initially, when you first start working out, I find it to be a great routine, great workout for just about anybody. The problems though, first one, first and foremost, you're going to get really strong. At some point, you're going to get too strong. When you get too strong, the problem becomes you're going to gas out long before you get to the end of that workout. When you go to train your full body in one workout, whether we're talking about uh, doing it in a non-stop fashion with a rush factor type of workout, or if we're talking about taking a couple minutes between each exercise, by the time you're done working out, if it takes you 30 minutes or say 45 minutes to do a certain full body workout, in a given amount of time, you're going to get progressively stronger and stronger and stronger. Now try to do that same workout in the same amount of time. If you do, great, you're improving your cardiovascular system as well as improving your muscular system, building some muscle along with that endurance. That's nice. However, unless you take longer to do that workout, the intensity is going to get so high that you're going to hit a wall. I personally, a little side note, I personally, with my training partner, took on a full body routine, you know, and recently we did a nice fun experiment with it. And <laughs> we had intended on doing just eight exercises from beginning to end. And I'll tell you what, we made it to exercise number four. By the time we got to exercise number four, we had done four big exercises. So these aren't little exercises. We're talking about doing squats, we're talking about doing stiff leg deadlifts, we're talking about doing inclined dumbbell presses, we're talking about doing bent over rows. By the time I hit exercise number four right there, the fourth one I just mentioned, we were gassed, both of us. I mean, gassed to the point where I'm on the floor, nauseous. Pushing big weights as you get stronger will make a bigger demand on your system, just like it did with me. I was on the floor, literally had to take a few minutes rest just to get back up and kind of finish the workout. And I say kind of because the remaining exercises were just mm, less than maximum effort. I couldn't use the normal weights that I would use on those last four exercises and the effort psychologically just wasn't there. Psychologically it was done. So four exercises I should have walked out the door. That was a full exercise, full body routine for me at this point in my career. Notice at this point in my career, we'll get back to that later. But in the beginning, a full body workout is very good for a beginner. They can't generate that kind of intensity. They can't lift big weights that later on they will be able to. Okay. So that's the number one problem. You're going to get too strong. The second problem is it's too much to recover from, even if you could finish that full body workout, you're going to dig such a deep hole into your recovery system that it's going to take a very long time to recover from it. So if you're working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, full body routine, or even Monday, Thursday, full body routine, Monday, Friday, full body routine, twice a week, three times a week, any one of those, What's going to happen? You just won't be ready eventually as again, you get stronger as your ability to generate intensity increases the hole that you're going to dig in your energy subsystems are going to be so deep as a beginner, you could train your full body and you'll burn up a certain amount of energy because you're only lifting a certain amount of weight on each exercise. But later on, and this is a physiological fact, lift bigger weights, boom, that hole gets that much deeper. Now your ability to recover from a workout does improve somewhat, but coming all the way back from that deep, deep hole of energy that you've dug in your system is going to be next to impossible by your next workout. How can you prove this at some point in time? 
You're going to be keeping track of your workouts in your workout logbook or your phone. And you're going to notice all of a sudden you're increasing in weight, increasing in reps, and then boom, plateau hits. There it is, plateau. You cannot recover any longer from that workout. You must make a change. Which brings me to my point number three. My point number three is there's a huge refusal to adjust on the parts of most people once they get past those beginning stages and they start to advance up the intensity ladder, the ability to generate more intensity and as they get stronger. So doing a full body workout that used to work for you back in the beginning at an advanced stage or as you advance, it won't work as well because of the things that I just mentioned. You're getting too strong. Your ability to recover from that deep hole that you dug is near impossible. So you have to adjust. Now, that brings me all the way back to the beginning of the video. What happened to me? Well, I tried to knock out eight exercises. I used maximum weights on everything, maximum intensity on everything, pulling the trigger, boom on one all-out set of everything, moved as quickly as possible from one exercise to the next, what happened? I didn't hold back mentally. I didn't think to myself, whoa, I have another five exercises to go. I have another three exercises to go. No, I just went at it, kicked ass, made it through four exercises, and I just mentioned them. Squats, stiff leg deadlift, incline dumbbell press, chest press, bent over rows. Boom. This sounds oddly familiar, doesn't it? It sounds a lot like a consolidated workout that my former mentor, Mike Mensor, Mike Menser, uh, over at MikeMenser.com, he invented the consolidated routine, a shortened version of a full body routine. That consolidated routine, he explains in his works, you can go and look it up at MikeMenser.com. You can find his books there. But that consolidated routine takes into account the fact that you're getting more advanced, takes into account the fact that you have to cut some things out and do the most productive exercises eventually. That's the only way that a full body workout will work down the line as you become more advanced. Otherwise, it's just too much and you have to split those exercises up. So that's it for today. Three points that I made, three. Of just detailing why a full body workout just won't work. You're going to get too strong eventually. You're going to dig a deep hole into your recovery systems eventually. And then number three, a refusal to make changes. If you just won't change the workout or adjust it as you go, then you're just going to, you'll keep looking back at that workout that worked so well for you in the beginning and wanting that same kind of progress, but you'll never get it because that time has passed. And that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, thanks for stopping by. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.